One of the brightest stars in the fourth century was Augustine, the subject of this portrait by Flemish artist Gaspar de Crayer. De Crayer's rendering captures Augustine in later years after he had become a revered and influential scholar. There are, however, nuances in the facial expression, especially in the eyes, and in the work's iconography that remind us of the tempestuous spiritual struggle that marked Augustine's early years. The dominant symbol de Crayer includes is the flaming heart. This heart represents Augustine's love for Christ following his conversion. Sometimes the heart is pierced with an arrow. In light of his early struggles with purity and ambition, the pierced heart bears a hint of irony in that the former passions have been put to death. During his stay in Milan, Augustine was influenced for Christ by Ambrose, Bishop of Milan. De Crayer identifies Ambrose by Bishop's mitre, crozier, and book, all symbols of his vocation. Ambrose was known in Milan as a scholar and a good shepherd. Augustine writes in his Confessions, This man of God welcomed me as a father. As a result, I began to love him, not because of his teaching, but because of his warm and loving personality. I enjoyed hearing him preach, not in order to learn from what he said, but in order to admire and learn to imitate his eloquence. Indeed, I still despised the doctrines he taught. Yet by opening my heart to the sweetness of his speech, the truth of his teaching began to enter my soul, little by little. The Book of Romans that moved Luther hundreds of years later eventually brought peace of mind to Augustine as well. He writes, Until then I had been puffed up with pride, insisting that I should understand truth before I believed it. Now I realized that I must believe in order to understand it. Augustine was baptized by Ambrose in 387 and soon after returned to North Africa where he became Bishop of Hippo, ruling in that turbulent African diocese for 34 years until his death in 430.